Representative Swatsky, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Tell us about yourself, your occupation, and your home life. I am a school teacher in Wilmer. I am a special education teacher specializing in lear students with learning disabilities. I have taught for 27 years, started my career in New London Spicer, and uh, then I, I'm now in Wilmer at the middle school teaching 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. Married to Doug, who is a retired school teacher as well, and we have two children. John is a senior at Moorhead State in business administration, and Jeff is teaching third grade in Painesville. What do you see as the major issues facing your district, and how do you want to make a change? Well, when I've been campaigning these last hard these last six months, um, people are. Obviously, the budget is very disturbing, and, and we, I think we need to uh, regain faith in um, understanding what, what, what is exactly wrong with the budget, and is there a surplus, and is there a deficit, and um, I guess, so I think we need to make sure that we communicate that well to our constituents back at home. But um, the issues that we have in, in Wilmer and in Candioi County, um, obviously, we've borrowed a lot of money from the schools. and. Uh, as a school teacher, talking to our superintendent, uh, we have not gotten our money uh, to pay the bills. And so I, I think w we need to focus on education and, and, and uh, as well as properly funding education. Um, I think our, our young people entering kindergarten are not prepared, they're not ready for school. Um, and so um, obviously, Education is a passion of mine. Uh, we have some issues with transportation out in out state, and um, so I, I would like to concentrate on those, um, looking at those needs. And uh, we have a lot of lakes and natural resources in our area, and uh, concerned about taking care of, of those needs and making sure that we um, are addressing the the needs for our natural resources. What do you think your greatest qualification for being a lawmaker is? I have been involved in a lot of activities in our community and in our county. And I guess I have a lot of energy. And if energy produces things, that's great. But I, I think that com what, what comes with that is, is that you need to be able to get along with people, uh, visit with people, build relationships and trust. And um, so, know a lot of people, um, but that just comes naturally. I like being around people. I like hearing their stories. I like to um, um, hear where people are coming from and what their needs are. And and so listening, I guess, is, is important. I know is important. Um, and I think that that's something that uh, is important in, in this job. And I want to hear from everybody from the far right to the far left and I campaign that from day one that you know we're all people we're all individuals and I know there's a lot of people that are very nervous about where we're going and um, we need to be this is uh, state of Minnesota is is need in need of repair and we need to look forward and we need to get this you know the this budget thing figured out and it's going to be a lot of tough decisions and hard work and but I'm ready to I have the energy to go with it. What was the last book you read? Uh, Teach Like a Champion, I think, is what it, we had to read uh, on, for the start of the school year. But that isn't a book that you'd read from cover to cover. <laughs> <laughs> and quite honestly, uh, it's been a while since I've read a book in uh, uh, for leisure. Uh, it's mostly been um, political things or <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tough question, and I, as a school teacher, don't listen to me. You do need to be reading at least 20 minutes every night <laughs> to keep up your skills. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, this is just an honor, and uh, I, it's, it's very humbling, and um, hard work pays off. And, but I also think that the people of Candioi County and the state of Minnesota need somebody who's willing to show up to meetings, uh, be, be available to constituents, and I want to be out there. Um, I will be um, addressing emails, and you know, so far there's a lot of emails and texts coming my way, and, and it, people deserve that attention. And uh, the state of Minnesota needs attention. Um, there's a lot of issues that need attention, and uh, I think that we need to look, 
get in here, get busy, and uh, do what's best for the for the most vulnerable to the most prosperous. And and we need to be concerned about all people. And um, I am looking forward to it.